guys welcome back to more pairs 5 action today we are taking on Birmingham City so we've had a little bit of a break uh, after the Arsenal game we didn't make the Champions League final and uh, well I'll let you know who won the Champions League after this match as well if I remember of course which I hope I do um, yes Mewtwo and Torres are going to partner up front. You know what? We have nothing to lose now. We may as well just go for it. You know what? What's been done is done. There's been too many games this season. You know, the Arsenal game that we've just had, the Tottenham game, um, that, that when we met Birmingham City last time, you know, it's just games like that that have let us down. Terry Puyol are going to partner in defence. Czech is going to remain in goal. Um... Yeah, Czech kind of needed that rest, um, but his stamina is slightly low. Um, Haleb loses his place in the attacking midfield role, because uh, I've not been too impressed with Haleb just recently. Um, I mean, he did pretty good against, uh, you know, Arsenal last time out in the last game. But, uh, no, he's going to lose his, his, his starting uh, position today. Um, place of Joe Cole, who is on red form. Um, Iniesta and Gerard in the midfield, of course, as always. And here we go today. I was planning on playing Rooney in this one. I uh, decided not to in the end because, um, you know, Mutu uh, might just be the better one to go with. We struggled uh, last time we played Birmingham. And last time we played them, we changed a few things around. It really didn't work out for us. And so this time we got to get it together if we're gonna if we're gonna have any any push for that title still now you know I mean it's pretty much dead and buried, but we still gonna believe Perea's on the right back position um, again. Uh, Sergio Ramos I don't think has made the team today I don't believe I think I've taken him out I've got Van Bronckhorst though if need be. Uh, Birmingham City, I tell you what, the relegation battle this season is much more interesting than it has been in the past um, two seasons, that's for sure, because um, this time uh, Birmingham have been pressing all season, they've managed to get themselves into a, um, a, a, a slightly good position, they're out of the relegation zone after being there all season, here's Joe Cole, whips it into the box, Torres was waiting, um... They've managed to get themselves out of it, but only on goal difference. There's literally one goal difference is separating them and Wigan at the moment. So they really kind of need to make sure that they don't get thrashed by us today. But here's Mutu, who will interrupt their uh, celebrations of getting out of the relegation zone right there. What a great little move that was. I think there was a deflection. We'll take a look at the replay in a moment. But uh, that was a really good goal. Nice little assist by Torres. Tends the defender into the path. Yes, it came off the defender's leg there. And as it stands, I think that would move Birmingham uh, back into the relegation position. I think. I kind of want to say it will, but I don't particularly know. Because I think after goal difference, I think it goes on the amount of goals the team has scored, I think. And I think Wigan actually do have the more goals scored. Uh, but I'd have to get back to you on that, guys. But it depends what's going on in the Wigan game before we can um, say anything today. Uh, I can't actually quite remember who they're playing. Um, but I know that uh, Celtic are playing Arsenal today. So um, if uh, Celtic lose, they are relegated. If they even if they get a draw, it's still it's still possible. It means they have to win their last two remaining games. If they win. Well, that would be a miracle, and they give themselves a, a chance, pretty much. And that's a good ball in by Reese, and nobody really there to it, though. Uh, taken away by Gerard. Here's Torres. Gerard waiting for it. Teresa. Oh, who is there? And it's going to be Gerard once more. And Cal Strom can't win the ball back. It's all us, though, which is good stuff. Here they come. Good. Uh, Opening uh, effort and uh, that would have been Rooney's goal perhaps would would, would Rooney have scored that uh, Mutu goal there? Um, I don't know. You know what I mean, I think Rooney's in, uh, turning into a good player for the team. You know, what I mean, he's come in, he's covered for us when we needed him to, um, and whatnot. So I'm interested to see how he's going to get on next season. And that's pretty good, Mutu. Who makes it to? And a gap in the Birmingham defence there leaves it wide open for him. And he's on for the hat-trick already. And he could even get it yet. Yeah, before half-time, there is time. 
I've decided not to mess around today pretty much. I've decided to put out the full strength team. Um, well, what I consider maybe, maybe a possibly our full, our, I would say actually this is probably maybe our um, strongest team that is out to there today. Um, you can maybe debate whether Cal Strom is a part of that strongest uh, 11 though, I don't know. But for me, I think we've got our strongest team out there today. Um, we do go to Celtic next week, where um, if they get some sort of result against Arsenal, you never know, we could relegate them next week. <laughs> um, but they ain't playing for much. Um, Chelsea are playing Rangers currently, so we really have to hope that Rangers can get something. And that was a shot there, which we really didn't want. But never mind, we're okay. Here's Mutu, and this could be it, it's Mutu, and it's a hat-trick, and I tell you what, Giladino, when he left, has got the only hat-trick of this season for our team, Mutu has finally got the first hat-trick since Giladino left, unbelievably. What a great little move there, the pass, it was just pinpoint that. And this is the worst thing that Birmingham could want today because if they get thrashed, it really does put a lot of pressure on their goal difference if they are going to stay up. And that was an excellent strike by uh, Mutu there. And I tell you what, he could even he could be back in the race for the Golden Boot now. We'll have to, um, I don't know, maybe um, at the end of maybe the next episode or this episode take maybe a look at it and here we come again here's Carl Strom and Mutu and it's going to be taken away there and it's going to come back out so um, yeah if I am to sum up the season though I would probably say that it's been uh, I don't really I don't really know how to put it to be honest it's been a sort of transitional season in my opinion because we've brought in a lot of players um you know i guess ronaldinho ronaldinho is one of those that um he's had a bit of a hard time fitting into our team but next season i've got i've kind of got a plan for him right now i'm just going to play the team that we've been pretty much playing all season and see how that goes um but i guess a plan is pretty much required for him and here's torres He's not going to miss that, is he? Oh, he is. It's a good save. He really should have buried it, but he didn't. Never mind from Torres. It was... Uh, I tell you what, we've we've torn them apart here. It's really not what Birmingham need. You know what I mean? We've effectively um, relegated a few teams in the past. You know what I mean? Joe Charlton being one of them where we won the title and sent them down. Then last season... Uh, won the title against Bolton and that pretty much effectively sent them down I think it went to the last game still but the goal difference just wasn't there for them be interesting to see who comes back up and this could be really bad here and it's going to be a goal on the brink of half time gives Birmingham a little hope and that's not what we wanted there a little bit of bad defending there I think Terry was out of position if I'm not mistaken let's see what happened Risa went in there, Terry, uh, no I think it was Puyol actually, he was out of position, yeah it was Puyol, not Terry, I thought Terry was playing on the right side of them both, but apparently not, Risa went in for it and couldn't get there, and then it was just easily put away, kind of puts a little bit of a downer on us, but uh, you know, doesn't really matter at the moment. I guess maybe what we could do is maybe have a look at some of the half-time scores um, and see what's going on. And that's really not good. We can't afford to let them in again. And that's going to be half-time. Really good first half. Shame about the goal there that we conceded. But we're looking very comfortable. We should get through this. So, uh, yes. Just maybe another goal would be good enough in the next half. Well, well, well. Uh, Chelsea are winning at halftime, 1-0 against Rangers. Um, currently, Wigan are losing 2-0. Um, so the goal difference is literally the same because Wigan and... Uh, well, yeah, it, it will be the same because Wigan and Birmingham are losing by at least two goals here. Um, 
And surprisingly, Celtic are 1-1 with Arsenal at the moment. So, um, interesting stuff there, guys. Also, United are losing to Everton at home, 1-0. Uh, so, that is very interesting. Here's Iniesta, oh, who couldn't turn. I think he was trying to do a Mafia there. Mafia not in the team today, but um, who knows? He could come on in, in, in uh, the, this second half, possible, possibly. We'll have to maybe think about subs though soon because uh, I know we've got, you know what I mean, there's three games to go and I want to make sure everybody's fit and ready just in case. You never know, Chelsea could slip up. Um, that's what we were just were banking on everything, you know what I mean, with uh, Rangers and Black. They've got to play Blackburn yet as well. That's the only thing we can hope for. But you know what, I'm a fighter. I'm not giving up till the very, very end until it's definitely all over. But we've been given a run for our money this season, that's for sure. And that's really well done there by Iniesta, who's going to put Joe Cole in. And Joe Cole's shot was way off. It was a touch too far for him in the end. Had to be a little better than that. Ball out. Reset. Picks out Joe Cole. Here's Gerard. Ball over. That's really good. Oh, the ball back to uh, Kalstrom there. Didn't come off from Torres. Torres' passing is absolutely excellent, though. Iniesta's good at winning the ball back, that's for sure, too. It's a shame he can't play as a DMF. I mean, I guess you c he could if you put him there. Because he is really good at winning the ball back. He reminds me Sissoko when he does that. That is a fantastic ball out to Mutu. And here's Joe Cole. Ball in is going to be blocked away. It's still ours. Here's Joe Cole. Who's still got it. The ball in. Here's Cal Strom. Oh, it was a good effort, I suppose. It was on target. But nothing could have been gained from that. Unfortunately, in the end, and Torres not even looking at the ball there misses it altogether. I'm actually going to take Cal Strom off. His stamina is only a little bit low, uh, but I'm going to take him off. I'm going to bring Ronaldinho on, see what happens. Mutu's effort, what a save that was! Mutu going for the fourth there. Oh, it was a great effort. A lot of power behind it, but not enough. Well, Strom is going to make way. I think he's done pretty well in this game. And uh, Gerard's going to whip this one in. And Mutu! Oh, what a goal by Mutu! And I was saying at half time it would be amazing just to get another goal. And there it is. And it's a beauty from Mutu. Absolutely incredible stuff. Acrobatics. This is his match today. This is all him. Gerard, look at that. I think we already have a goal of the month winner. That's for certain. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, Iniesta is going to come off for Fabregas. Um, I've decided then. And I might take check off actually because he needs to recover just a little. So that might be uh, another option uh, in a moment. Here's Mutu again who's got four goals under his belt. Torres who's still got it. He's still going. And Mutu. Oh and Mutu. What has he done there? It was brought back to him. He could have had a fifth. Unfortunately won't. Never mind though, never mind. He got that kind of wrong. So the final substitution is going to be Carson coming on. And is this going to be another one? No, it won't be. Mutu's in there again. Deflection off the defender. Takes it to Fabregas, who's done pretty well there. The bristle's not gone. Here's Risa, Fabregas. With Mutu, here's Ronaldinho, puts Torres in, and it's Ronaldinho, oh, who was waiting for it. 
Here he is again. And I think that's a penalty. It will be. And I think we all know who's taking it. But meanwhile, the uh, check is going to come off for Carson in the meantime. His check needs a well-deserved rest. Mutu for the fifth today. Bags it. And there we go. It's a fifth for Mutu. The race for the golden boot is well and truly back on. I think, T I think well, looking at it last time, I think Thierry Henry was top. This is definitely the best game we've ever seen Mutu play. That is without a doubt. And who knows, there is even time to get a six. It was all set up there for Ronaldinho to score. And, uh, well, we didn't uh, need it in the end. He was the one brought down, though. So he is the new penalty taker for the team now, instead of uh, Gerard. And here's Ronaldinho. Can he produce something? I wonder. And Torres! Oh, what a save that was! I tell you what, that was a fantastic save by, by uh, Torres. It was on target. Torres wondering what he's got to do to get a goal today. Gerard is going to whip in. Uh, it's not going to reach anyone. I'm absolutely enjoying this one, though. And here's Joe Cole with a shot that wasn't very well struck in the end. Never mind. Just kind of sat up right for him there. Mutu again to Joe Cole. Back to Mutu. And it's Mutu! Oh, he nearly gets the six. It was almost there. Maybe, I mean, the defender was sliding in, so I don't think he had as much time to have uh, got closer to the net there, but uh, still. Excellent, excellent stuff nonetheless. Here's Ronaldinho. Here's Torres. That's going to go out of play. Still a little bit of time left for another goal if we can. I don't think Joe Cole's been too impressive today. I have to say that. I mean, he's been all right, but not amazingly great. Good uh, take by Carson. And that's a good ball forward to Ronaldinho, who is playing pretty well. And Mutu was waiting for it. And it could have been... Could he get the six goal today? I don't think he's going to get it. Oh, here's Joe Cole and Ronaldinho. Oh, who just can't put it into the net, unfortunately. But I tell you what, that was one of the best attacking displays we have seen this season. I tell you what, last time we played Birmingham, it was awful. But that has been much more like it. Incredible stuff. Excellent performance. So, individual game records. Mutu, who, is, who else is it going to be? I don't even have to really show you it to, to, to know who it's going to be. It is Mutu, only with an 8.0 though. I was maybe hoping that he would get at least an 8.5, maybe even a 9 at some point. Um, towards the end, I was thinking maybe a 9, maybe. But uh, yeah, uh, Puyol wasn't too impressive today, honestly. Uh, only with the 5.5 there. Terry Perea got 6s. Risa was brilliant as always. Gerard was 7.5. Iniesta, Kalstrom. It just tells you how we played this because we've pretty much hit 7s all across the midfield there and whatnot. Um, Ronaldinho got a six. I thought Ronaldinho played pretty well as well, to be honest. I think it was a shame that he didn't manage to get a goal near to the end. Uh, didn't see a whole lot of Fabregas when he came on, and Carson did his job. Excellent. So, guys, here are the results. Chelsea did win against Rangers there, 2-0 uh, uh, in the end, unfortunately for us, which pretty much means now we really have to hope... Um, that Blackburn and Celtic can get results against Chelsea. I honestly don't see it happening. I think we've lost this title now, guys. I think we've definitely cemented second place there, though, because United have drawn with Everton. Um, Wigan have lost 3-1 against uh, We United. However, because we've beaten Birmingham 5-1, Wigan should 
uh, go back up into a safety spot um, on goal difference. So uh, Aston Villa have beaten Blackburn 2-0. Uh, Tottenham Fulham there uh, 3-2. Um, Everton and United was 2-2. Arsenal have beaten Celtic, which confirms that Celtic are down. They will be playing in the second division next season. Poor, poor Celtic. And uh, Newcastle have thrashed Middlesbrough 4-0 there. And uh, yes, Chelsea are literally one win away from doing it. Uh, if they draw to Blackburn, there is still a chance on the last day if we beat, uh, I think it's Celtic in the next game. So they have to pretty much at least draw um, against Blackburn for there to be any chance on that final day. We've secured a Champions League automatic spot, so that's good. United will have to try and qualify yet again. So, uh, yes, uh, Newcastle are remaining fourth there. Arsenal had a pretty bad season, only 49 points at this stage. Uh, we United, uh, looks like they're going to take the sixth and final spot there. Fulham, pretty much... Uh, it's a it's a very slim thread, but um, they'd have to win the last two and hope we United slip up for it. So I'm uh, moving down to the bottom. Um, yes, Birmingham do move back down there. The goal difference though is only one. It's only one. It's incredible stuff. Um, minus 28, and minus 20. So who knows? That goal that they scored against us could prove vital on the final day or something. And uh, it will go down to the final game now because there is two games to go and they are on the same amount of points. So even if one of them wins next game week, um, it doesn't really matter. It still will go down to that final game. So it's looking very interesting, this. So anyway, guys, yes, your UEFA Cup winners were Bayern Munich this year. Uh, I think Barcelona won it last year. They've re reached the final yet again. Uh, but they have been knocked out by Bayern uh, in the final 4-1. Quite a dominating uh, result there. And yes, guys, Chelsea are European champions. They beat Manchester United in the final 2-1. Um, so yes, we are pretty much up against European champions next season. Um, in fact, you know, we're up against uh, probably double winners next season. So, yeah. So looking ahead to fixture 29, the penultimate... Penultimate... Uh, game in the season as you can see there it looks like Chelsea have got um, I don't know if they're kicking off the same time uh, we are so we might be able to check half time results uh, with that um, they're at home at Stamford Bridge to Blackburn well we have got to travel to uh, Celtic who are already relegated uh, meanwhile Newcastle are playing Rangers Tottenham and Arsenal in the derby there the London derby uh, Birmingham City desperately need points against Middlesbrough uh, Wigan travel to Everton looking for points Fulham against We United and Aston Villa are taking on Manchester United there uh, Manchester United are pretty much going to end up in third now so uh, yes guys it could be all over next game week we got to believe in Blackburn. We've got to believe in them. They struggled last season against relegation a little. But now is the time for them to step up and beat Chelsea for us. Can they do it? What's going to happen? After this great result today, you just never know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share as always. And I will see you next week for the Celtic game. Take care.